are going to understand the second identity of square roots, which is that if I have to take a square root of two numbers x divided by y, that should be equal to the square root of x divided by square root of y. Let us assume x is equal to 4 or let's say x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 4. Similar to what we assumed in the first example. Now if this identity were to hold true, then when I replace the value of x and y out here, the result should be the same. So under root of 9 divided by 4 should be equal to under root of 4, sorry, my mistake, under root of 9 divided by under root of 4. Now under root of 9 divided by 4 can also be written as what? This can also be written as under root of 4 goes into 9, 2, 2, 5. And this can also be written as under root 9 is equal to 3 and under root 4 is equal to 2 or this comes to 1.5. Now if I have to take the under root of 225, how do I compute that? If under root of 225 is equal to 1.5, if this were to hold true, then that would mean that 2.25 is equal to the square of 1.5. I mean, let's look at it like this. Under root of x square is equal to x. Here x is what? It's 1.5. So if this side has to be equated to that side, then I can also write this as 1.5 square under root. Right? So I put this as an under root sign here and I do the square of this. So if I do this, 1.5 into 1.5. 15 times 15 gives me 225, 1, 2. So this gives me 2.25, which is also the number out here. So because this, both these sides are equal, we come to a conclusion that the rule which is laid out here is true.